Time to check your microclimate forecast at 647. A live look outside San Francisco. Some Pretty. new construction out there, or relatively recent construction. And you know what? It's a good thing that if you are bike riding out there today over in the South Bay, those engine riders, they are mm -hmm. going to be working up a sweat because the wind will be whipping. Yeah, you know, it's actually going to keep them cooler than a traditional May afternoon. So that's some great news. The time is 647. Thanks for waking up with us. We're really excited as well to be able to tell you about some shower activity headed to the Bay area as we get deeper into your work week. 47 degrees in San Jose, 43 in San Martin, chilly. Grab a jacket, bundle up those little ones before you head out that front door. We get our first activity by tomorrow afternoon at about 2 p.m. Showers are first going to start in the south bay then work their way to the north as we head throughout your Wednesday evening. Then Thursday, the bulk of the moisture comes through in the morning hours. We're expecting the heaviest in the South Bay and along the peninsula and up in San Francisco. And then the afternoon, the heaviest rain will be in the East Bay and the North Bay. We are also expecting the chance for some thunderstorms to fire off right here in the Bay Area. No stranger to this. We just had this scenario last week as we head throughout probably Thursday night into Friday morning. Right now, that looks to be the best time to get some of those thunderstorms and we could see gusty wind hail to the size of a dime a pea even up to a nickel like we saw last week and the best bet for that is going to be over the higher elevations of the south bay we will keep tabs on this for you as the storm system gets closer we're able to gauge it even better. So let me show you how much rain we're expecting in your specific microclimate. We take it right to your future cast and as we head throughout late Wednesday all the way through Saturday, temperatures are going to be cool, not too much cooler than what we're already experiencing, but this is the number that we've got for San Jose 0.38, so just under four tenths of an inch, and that would exceed the average rainfall for the entire month of May. If we get that, it does look likely right now. Some of the models are actually bringing in three quarters quarters of an inch to San Jose, but we're going to be cautiously optimistic here. Three quarters of an inch definitely likely for Half Moon Bay, just under a third up in Santa Rosa, and we're looking good for some snow significant at that up in Tahoe could pick up one to two feet and Mammoth is actually still open for the ski season. If you can get down there, they could accumulate two, maybe two and a half feet. You'll notice where you get those purples. That's where we're going to see the highest totals and up here on the key. 12 to 18 inches, even 18 to 24 in some spots along the spine of the Sierra Nevada. So that's great news. Let's find out if we can keep that threat going when it comes to your drive this morning. It's